Hi guys. Don't mind me. I'm eating an apple. This is one juicy apple. Oh my god. <coughs> I'm choking <coughs> on an apple. <coughs> choking on a dick. <coughs> okay. You know what? F forget about it. So, actually, I'm just gonna hold the apple because this room is kind of unsanitary. Let me just swallow the apple. I don't want to be impolite. So today, me and my friend were talking about the GSA, and we were just like, <laughs> we needed a slogan for the GSA, so we were just like, do it or you're gay. <laughs> and we just started laughing, and then I was like, do it or you're straight, and I was like, whoa, whoa, well, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I know, it was the randomest thing, I don't know. Alright, you know what? I really need to take another bite. I'm sorry, just one second. Oh my god, I love it when you eat that, when you bite into the apple and the juices just like come, come out and you swallow the juices and it's just, oh my god, how, how gay can I get right? I'm going to answer a question that people have been asking. Well, people don't ask me anymore because they don't even care what I have to say. But people just ask me, when did you first know you were gay? And I tell them a funny story or a cute story. I told one girl this story and she like melted inside. I was like... Oh. Anyways, the story goes, it was, I, th I believe it was somewhere between 3rd and 4th grade, I was doing a play, and it was called Annie Jr., and we had to audition for the play, and I was auditioning, and then we went home, and we, I got the phone call, I remember I was getting ready to get into the shower, and before I got in, my mom's like, you have a phone call, I was like, oh shit, the water's running, I have to take a shower, I don't have time for this, and the guy was like, oh, your role is that, 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 which I forget the name, and he was like, are you excited? I was like, I'm beyond speechless because it was like my first speaking role in a play and I was beyond nervous. So we had rehearsal days and one of the days I remember which room we were in because it was at the high school and it oh, where was I? I do that a lot lately. The other day I was in the kitchen and I wa literally walked into the kitchen, looked around, said, what did I come to you for? And I stood there staring into space for a good minute. And my dad was like, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, napkins. Grab some napkins. I am a weirdo. Anyways, so we were rehearsing the songs for the play. And I was just standing there, like, normal. I had my book with the songs in it. And this guy walks in. He was really tall with kind of dirty blonde hair. And I I just got like, oh my god, guy is hot. <laughs> Telling the story now, I laugh at myself because it's ridiculous. Well, not really ridiculous, but kind of strange. And I just remember throughout every day, I'd look at him. <laughs> And I'd just be like, this is the hottest guy I've ever seen. What's his deal? Like, I didn't, I don't even know if I knew what gay was. But I knew that it wasn't right to feel this way. I don't know, I was trying to impress him. Like, subtly. He was the lead. I remember one night, the lady who was in charge came over to me. She said, you like this guy? And I'm like, yeah. This is that off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that didn't happen. I, I, that would be awkward. But the lady comes over to me. She's like, oh, okay, when you're doing your scene, do this, do that, do that. And I'm like, um, okay. I didn't do that the night before. So we're doing our scene, blah, 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 and I do the stuff, people laugh in the audience, and then all of a sudden, I just freeze and I forget my lines, and the guy's right next to me, and he's just staring at me, like, holy motherfucker, you just forgot your lines, this scene is ruined, I hate you, and inside, I just drop to the ground. Not literally, that'd be like paramedics. So, I just remember he was like whispering my lines, and then finally, I just said them, and the audience clapped, and I walked off, and I walked into the gym, I remember, and they, these girls who were older. I was just like, I messed up. And they're like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just was really cute when I was alone. Because all the older girls used to be like, ah, I don't get it. I actually had one girl come up to me once when I was younger and say, I wish you weren't gay. Because I would totally date you. And <laughs> I was like, maybe I'm not gay. And I just walked walked away. Didn't even, didn't even talk to her again. I just walked away. And I never saw her again. I believe she moved to Florida. Or when you get away from me. Anyways, that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. And if you have any more questions, please rate this video, subscribe, whatever you do. I don't really know. And I'm going to finish this apple. And talk to you later. Okay, bye.